Now, for the past six weeks, we've been checking in with nurse Emily Allen, who's been working on the COVID-19 ward at Bethesda Hospital in St. Paul. I spoke with her earlier this morning. And joining us right now is Minnesota critical care nurse Emily Allen, who has been working at the COVID-19 ward at Bethesda Hospital for several weeks. Thank you so much, Emily, again to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Let me ask you, first of all, about this order from Governor Tim Walls um, saying that out-of-state nurses can work uh, at on COVID units um, and at, at Minnesota hospitals. Is there a shortage of nurses where you are? Not for where I am in particular. I can't speak for the rest of the state, um, but we have adequate nursing staff for right now. But we definitely are every day seeing the positive numbers or, you know, the positive results of COVID um, coming back. So our um, influx of patients is going up. Um, I know that Bethesda, they had to open up other hospitals to COVID units just because Bethesda is so full. What is that like? I mean, and, and how many nurses do you have assigned to one patient? It is very busy there. Um, you know, each ICU has, again, the sickest of the sick patients. Right now, we are at two-thirds capacity for our ICU, I believe, as of today. I worked, I just got off this morning. And we're looking at opening our third ICU definitely next week. So, um, we're... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I know I know that you have told me that you have to deal, obviously, with the patients' families in a way that you wouldn't have to deal with them under normal critical care circumstances. You're actually communicating with the families. What is that like? It has to be so hard. It is. It is very hard. Um, it's very sad at times. It's very happy at times because we're allowing. You know, like I said, we've been utilizing FaceTime and iPads that have been donated. Uh, I did a prayer vigil over the weekend with a family, and it was very, very emotional. But, um, you know, we're just trying to figure out and meet each patient's needs and each family member's needs as well, because we're not just taking care of the patients. We consider their family members our patients, too, and we want to give them the peace and comfort of knowing that their family member is being cared for the very best possible way. Outside hospital walls, there are protests going on to open up the state. What, would, what do you think of those protests, uh, having seen the ravages of COVID-19? It is very, very, very hard for me to watch the protests um, and see the comments from people on various, you know, social media outlets. Um, I do not own a small business, but I, from just being a human and being compassionate, I feel very bad for these people. I'm so sorry that they're struggling and I can speak on a lot of my family and friends. We're doing our very best to support those small businesses. I also would just ask everybody to try and put yourself in the shoes of a patient. Try and imagine yourself on a ventilator, not being able to always have a family member with you to hold your hand. Um, or try and imagine your family member being one of our patients and then ask me if I think we should open everything up and potentially increase the number of positive COVID cases very, very rapidly. I, I don't think it's a good idea. And how are you holding up, Emily? I And, and, and we've, we've also got some pictures of your colleagues, too, so we want to put that in. They're smiling. Yes. So. How are you holding up? I had up? a very, um, a really long stretch off. I had about a week off last week. And so that's just what I needed, time to recharge and be with my family. Um, I know I can speak for all the parents out there. This uh, distance learning is a new thing for me, especially with two of my kids in preschool. So that's a little crazy. But I'm just trying to enjoy the little moments, the sunshine, you know, being outside. That's what recharges me. And I'm back and ready to go. I'm just did my second 12-hour shift, and I have a third tonight. So I'm ready right. to go back and keep going. Well, you're awesome. Emily, thank you so much once again for joining us. Yes, thank you.